Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones, and joining me is my man, Phil Boyle. How are you? I'm doing great, Phil. How are you doing today? Good. Well, to this week, we want to talk about basically projectors on Amazon because Amazon Prime Day is coming up, Phil, and that's one of the number one things we get asked about. So Amazon Prime Day is actually, I believe, July 16th. So we kind of want to cover some of the cool projectors um, that are available on the site. Now, of course, Phil, how many projectors have you reviewed this year? Just oh. this year. <laughs> Dozens. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So we're so the fact is we're not going to be able to go through and talk about every single notable great projector that is on Amazon. But we are going to just talk about a couple of them. Now, if you want to get into more detail about each one of these projectors, check out our article called Best Projectors on <laughs> Amazon, and it will actually give you um, links to the reviews. So we do want to just talk about some notable projectors. So, Phil, what price point should we start with? The, the top or, or entry level? Which one do you think we should start with? Well, I mean, let's 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 start where they begin. Let's start at the entry level and work our way up. I mean, they're all a really good deal for the most mm -hmm. part. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's work our way up. Exactly. Now, Amazon, by the way, has projectors that retail anywhere from two hundred and fifty bucks all the way up now to about ten thousand. Now, right. after you get past that price point, most of the manufacturers decide would like you to actually deal with someone more face to face because these are ultra premium models. But let's start off with the entry level and um, starting off with, you know, backyard theater type stuff. And to me, the ultimate value on Amazon currently is the Epivision Flex projector. To me, that is one of the nicest projectors that are available on the market today. And the thing right now, when it first came out, was $449. And the picture quality is outstanding. But as always, Phil, there's a catch. And how bright is that projector? This projector can deliver 3,000 antilumens. No not way. Not Lux, not 3,000 antilumens. But, really? and that's what, yeah. And, and I love this little guy. It's all, it's, it's. It's ultra compact and it's super bright. However, the, it, if you're looking for a bunch of bells and whistles, this projector does not have it. So first thing, it's 1280 by 800. So it will do mm -hmm. HD, but only about 720p HD. So if you want full HD, you gotta go someplace else. Um, yeah. The next thing is it uses a lamp or a bulb. So it generates a lot of heat. And if you want a projector that you can just beat on like a TV, um, yeah. You got to be a little more cautious when you plug it in. You got to let it power up. And when you unplug, you got to let it power down. And then in the eco mode, it's good for about 12,000 hours, but that's still less than what you would get on a, um, any solid state projector. Bill, that's a decent, that's a decent amount of, of life. And for that level of brightness, I mean, wow. I know. Um, the sound system is a single five watt mono speaker. So if you want some big backyard filling sound, you're gonna have to plug this thing into maybe an, a portable speaker. And mm -hmm. there are zero smarts. So that means you have to plug in um, a Roku stick or um, a, you know, a Roku stick or a fire stick. But, but it's 3000 ANSI lumens for 250 bucks. I know, and it's a three LCD. It uses three LCD panels. Holy so crap. super bright, excellent color reproduction. Oh. So if you're in the market for an inexpensive backyard theater projector, this is the one to go to. And there's a big brother that actually has some smarts and some more resolution. But this piece right here, I believe is an absolute steal of a projector. And you, you can buy a Google TV stick right now. I mean, like from uh, ONN for like 20 bucks mm -hmm. and get mm -hmm. the whole Google ecosystem. So at that kind of savings for that kind of performance, we should just stop right here. Exactly. Now we are going to have a whole nother video called best projectors under 500 bucks, but these are just projectors that I like for things like outdoor theater and portability and stuff that are available on Amazon. My favorites. Moving on from that, Phil, if you want someone, if say you go, I want full HD 1920 by 1080 and I, I want solid state and I would like to have a better sound system and I still want it to be ultra compact. That's mm -hmm. where the, the Deng by Adam is an, it's a, it's an amazing projector. It retails for around $899 on Amazon, solid mm -hmm. state, 
um, um, ALPD laser. So pretty darn bright, amazingly bright, 1,200 lumens on a very, very, very compact chassis. And it is smart. So it has the full Google TV. So if you want Netflix and you want Amazon and you want Disney Plus and you want full HD and you want a pretty good sound system, it's, it's, it's stereo, um, five watt, and you want solid state, this is actually one of my favorites when it comes to portability. It only wow. lacks one thing, Phil. Can you guess what? what that one thing is when it comes to portability? What makes a projector super uh, a uh, portable? A battery. It does not come with a, it's not battery powered. There's no battery built in. But if you're looking for something super small and it'll fit in a backpack that's super, that's incredibly bright for its size, great, has tons of smarts, good sound and everything else, the Dang by Atom is a great one that's available on Amazon. Moving on from that, you now you want a portable projector that's pretty darn bright, that has smarts and has a battery, that's going to be the Xgmi Halo Plus um, at about 849. Um, this one is not as bright. It's only about 900 lumens, but it does have a good Harman Kardon sound system on it. It is qu quite compact. It offered great color reproduction, and it has a built-in battery. So you can at least watch one movie um, on this projector um, off of its battery before you have to charge it. So truly portable, not just transportable, portable. Yes. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because the there's, there's, there's transportable. You can move it from place to place. Then there's kind of a portable with smart or transportable with smart. And then there is just completely, truly portable. And that's what this projector comes in. Right. Now, if you're looking for my favorite editor's choice when it comes to a portable projector available on Amazon, that would be the Nebula Mars 3. This oh, sucker... Yeah. Is um is a it's a very good projector can deliver a thousand ANSI lumens. It has a big battery. If you look at the unit, it looks like a battery charger. Not only would the battery charge the projector, it'll charge your laptop. The thing acts a actually has a um a lamp built into it. So I mean, so you can use it as a camp light if you decide you want to use it. And this piece retails for right around eleven hundred bucks, and it has a big sound system like forty watts. So if you want a bright portable projector that has a battery that lasts for two at least two movies with big sound and everything else the nebula 3 is the best way to go so, that so big those are my makes sense because nebula they're they're connected to anchor right mm -hmm. so yeah big yeah. power company big battery company yeah. yeah i guess that's i didn't even think about that yeah anchor makes is famous for making good batteries that um yeah. that power sources in general power yeah. sources so basically they took a big power source that you would normally buy as a battery backup and they stuck it into a projector and you know with this really really nice projector i was quite impressed with it and that would be my editor's choice when it comes to projectors at that price point so those are kind of my portable my um my my starting point now moving on from that um say you're kind of a gamer and you want kind of a, a gaming projector that um that has you know good sound that's compact and everything else mm. that is where the BenQ GP100A right. comes in. So this projector is full HD. Um, it has it offers a thousand um, lumens. Seems like a thousand is kind of the sweet spot for these small guys. This I uses agree. an RG. This uses an RGB LED, so the colors are very good, um, and has a good sound system in it. So I like this little guy. It even has a little handle so you could easily carry it um, from place to place to place. Very important. Now, the reason why I put this on here is because I think it's a cool um, solution for someone who wants to game on the go. So when I reviewed this, I actually did a gaming article where you could take a Nintendo Switch. A mm -hmm. Nintendo Switch has a USB output that supports DisplayPort. And you could plug that USB, that Nintendo Switch, directly into this projector. Now, then the projector will grab the signal from that USB, and it will also power the Nintendo Switch. Now, the projector itself does not have a battery built in, but if you plug the projector in, then um, the projector, you only have to have one power cord, one plug into the projector, and the projector will power the Nintendo Switch. It was cool. I took the projector stuck it somewhere, took the Nintendo Switch, took the little controllers off, 
And mm -hmm. then now I can sit there and I can game um, on the go. And this whole package is quite small. If you look at the projector Nintendo Switch, it'll fit in a backpack. And if your kids like to go on um, sport trips and they want to bring a gaming system with them and be able to game on a screen that's 100 inches um, across, this is a, a cool projector. So I, re I really like this one as well. Hmm? And what's that going for? This piece, this piece goes for eight ninety nine. Um, Still under a thousand. That's great. Yes. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it, as I mentioned, it doesn't have a battery, but right. the USB C can also be used to plug it into a battery bank. So if you have a compatible battery bank, like an Anchor battery bank, you could plug that in and use that to power the projector. And of course, oh, the projector has smarts. So that is a that's kind of my great pro gaming projector on the go um, solution. Moving on from that, it seems like gaming projectors are getting more and more popular and more and more manufacturers are making um, projectors that, have, that are dedicated for, for, um, for gaming. So, Phil, how many, I mean, have you been trying playing video games on a projector? What's your impression? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. I mean, I can't turn my camera around, but my, you know, my Xbox Series X right over there, it, uh. I love playing FPS uh, shooters, you know, until it makes me sick and then I get nauseous <laughs> and everything. But, um, but I love it. You know, throw it up on a 120 inch screen and it's like you are there. Exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm not the most hardcore gamer, but I do like that kind of family interaction yeah. where the whole family gathers around and watches you play a game. Like I used to kick back and watch my son play video games. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, sometimes you, uh, where some games, the big immersive being watching a, a game on an immersive screen. Like I'm a, I'm a Gran Turismo guy and mm -hmm. playing Gran Turismo and you feel like you're actually in a car and that the car is actually life size. That's mm -hmm. actually a really good experience. So my favorite when it comes to best in class gaming projector is actually available on Amazon and that is the BenQ 3100i so this is kind of their flagship gaming projector this sucker retails for around 23.99 now super low game lag like four seconds four I'm sorry four milliseconds when right. you're playing games at uh, 1080p at uh, 240 frames per second and eight milliseconds when you're playing games at 1440 at 120 frames per second. Super fast, super responsive. That's competitive gaming, uh, professional gaming game lag. That's professional levels of game lag. Yeah, exactly. If you're a hardcore gamer, this thing is responsive. So, so if you're so high frame rate gaming at 1440 would feel almost like you're playing on a um, a dedicated gaming monitor. So if you're hardcore about um, reaction times, this is the way to go. Super so, bright. Real, go real quick, if you don't mind, just in, so in case anybody's watching, what Phil's talking about here is uh, when we say input lag, it's like when you press a button on the remote control, it's the time from the point that you press the button to an action happening on screen. And the mm -hmm. lower that input lag, the faster that all happens. So there's no delay and you're not going to shoot and then mistime it and miss your opponent or you get shot. Exactly. You come around the corner, they come on around the corner. You see them first, you shoot first, you win. Simple, right? So, so that's the first thing. So super fast. The next thing is um, it has dedicated gaming picture and sound mode. So they realize depending on the game you're playing, there's certain things going to give you an advantage when you're playing. So for example, if I'm playing um, maybe a first person shooter or role playing game, mm -hmm. sometimes it is good to elevate the grayscale a little bit so I can see people hiding in the right. shadows that are about to attack me, right? If right. I'm playing certain games, I may want, I may um, gravitate more to richer colors because it makes the game seem more cinematic. So there's different game playing roles, you know, role playing and first person shooter and all these different game modes, mm -hmm. picture wise, as well as sound, you know, so there's game modes that are, so not only do you have this high, this super low game lag and how, and it's super responsive, you also have different um, sound modes and bit different picture modes that make that gaming experience cool. So that's something that I give um, BenQ uh, kudos for. Um, it is a and four LED. Go ahead. What were you going to say, Phil? Oh, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I was going to say that's also the, the BenQ is the only company that I'm aware of that actually 
factory tunes matches sound modes to the kind of game you're playing. So it's not like a typical projector where you've got like, this is the bass mode or this is the cinema mm-hmm. mode or you know, <laughs> this is the sport mode. Their modes are matched to, oh, you're playing a first person shooter? That's, this is the sound mode you want. You know, oh, you're you're playing a um, uh, you know a, a driving game. This is the sound mode you want. You're playing a simulator. This is the sound mode you want. Exactly. So you gotta remember, BenQ is hardcore in the gaming because they also yeah. they also make high end gaming monitors like Zowie gaming monitors. So they've every conversation I have, they really stress the importance of optimizing the gaming experience. So they they take it more seriously than anybody else. And it, it you could tell when you look at projectors like this guy. Cool thing is it's an LED display, a four LED, which means vibrant colors. Mm-hmm. Um, 30,000 hours of life. So just use it for watching movies, use it for playing games. Um, 3,300 lumens. So it is bright. Um, so, and it has a good sound system. So it, it, I would recommend this projector if you were just going to play movies on the thing and you wanted uh, more of that lifestyle um, size projector that's kind of the little box that, mm-hmm. that, that, um, that has speakers, um, a sound system and smarts and everything built in and as a gaming system. So I would say if you want a gaming projector, this mm-hmm. is one of my favorites. And if you want just to use a, a lifestyle based um, projector for home entertainment, this is also one of my choices. So it's twenty three ninety nine. It does command kind of a premium, but the fit and finish and the picture quality and its functionality um, makes it absolutely worthwhile. And that's a, now, that's a great deal when you consider, I mean, you can kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure, you know, not every parent is into gaming. And mm-hmm. certainly not every kid is into watching home cinema, but this does both. Yeah, and, exactly. you know, and I know BenQ, you know BenQ really well. It provides a top-notch experience for both uses. Exactly. Now, speaking of kind of these lifestyle-based projectors, these kind of, they seem to be kind of a new one. First, it used to be you had a traditional projector, mm-hmm. and then you had an ultra short throw. But now you're seeing these projectors that are called lifestyle projectors. They, they all have the kind of the same form factor, like a square box. It's, you know, like a square box. And basically what it is, is this, the projector is on the top and the mm-hmm. sound system's on the bottom. So what you end up with is this, the form, form follows function, Phil. So oh, you I see a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So lifestyle projectors are becoming um, a thing. And uh, the X3100 is an example of a lifestyle projector. The other one, the GP100 ADA, the BenQ is kind of a lifestyle projector as well. It's just smaller and more compact. So another lifestyle projector that I really like is from a company called XGME. It's called the Horizon Ultra. Um, every XGME I've reviewed, I've been impressed with their overall yeah. picture quality and what you get for the dollars paid. And the XGME Horizon Ultra is quite surprising. Mm-hmm. Um, really good Harman Kardon sound system. Mm-hmm. It even and it has kind of a revolutionary kind of light source because some companies are using RGB laser, right. some companies are using LED, and there's disadvantages and advantages to both of them. An RGB laser is bright and can reproduce an insane amount of color, but you get things like speckle and and, um, and you have issues with the red, green, and blue converging properly. Yeah. So you end up seeing kind of haloing and things like that. Or uh, three LED, um, LEDs are good, but they just don't have that last bit of punch to right. make them super bright. So this guy uses a dual light laser system, which is an RGBB LED laser system with a red laser added on top. So the goal is, so now what you end up with is a lot of brightness, 2300 uh, lumens and a vibrant super wide color gamut image, but it eliminates a lot of the issues that are found on both the RGB laser and the RGB LED. It solves pretty much all of that. So it's a great looking projector. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of firsts on this projector. Uh, oh, other yeah. than the fact that it's a very impressive. It's like um, it's the first long throw with 
Dolby Vision support. Yeah, it's right? got the first the first long throw projector with Dolby Vision. It's got um, it's support. It's basically everything you could possibly throw at a lifestyle projector. Yeah. At a price point that was shocking. I actually went to New York to see them launch this projector, and I could have swore that when that product launched, they were talking it was going to be twenty five, twenty six hundred bucks. But this guy retails for sixteen ninety nine. Now yeah, that I remember um, now. Yeah, wow. so I actually have awarded this basically the editor's choice for basically a home theater projector or a home entertainment projector under two thousand bucks. If you want things like an insane amount of zoom or horizontal and vertical lens shift and all of that stuff, it's yeah. not going to have those types of features. If you're looking for inky, super inky black black levels, can't really do that. Before DLP projector and especially at this price point. Its feature set makes it a no-brainer if you're looking for a projector at around under two thousand bucks for home entertainment. And by the way, it has a pretty low game lag, so if you want to use it for gaming, you could do that as well. So that's actually one of my favorites: um, home theater or lifestyle projectors under under two thousand bucks. And well worth it. I remember having that on my bench. You lent it to me for a few days, and mm -hmm. it is an impressive piece of kit. It really is. Anybody mm -hmm. buys that, they're going to be happy with it. Exactly. So moving on from lifestyle projectors, let's talk about the other one that's really popular, a laser TVs, or which right. is a short way of saying an ultra short throw laser projector with a built in um, sound system and smart features. No one wants to say that. So we just start calling them laser TVs. Some right. come with screens. Some do not. So let's talk about a couple of notable um, laser TVs. When it comes to the value piece, the one that I would probably say, and I would award the um, value is the special interest that you gave, Phil, which is the Nomadic P2000 UST. So tell people about that projector, because I think you love that projector. I did. It, 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 well, one, it was, a, it was a surprise. I mean, I, I think both of us went into that expecting um, something different than what we got. Meh, Out of the box, meh. it had <laughs> Out of the box, in a great color. Um, mm -hmm. It wasn't perfect, but it was really good. Uh, Nomadics engineers clearly know know what they're doing. Uh, it had amazingly immersive sound. It was bright. It had good contrast. Um, you know, it's a DLP, so black levels weren't like you know an L cost black, but what DLP is. But for the price, I mean, we're talking about, I believe. When we reviewed under, it, it under three grand, under three grand, yeah. it could be less than that. Now I got to check Amazon. Uh, incredibly, incredibly good buy. And it's also one of those projectors that, um, if I remember correctly, came packaged with an Amazon um, Fire Stick 4K. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, but a very easy to use menu system. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, I, I was quite like I actually you actually had me come over to look at it, and I was yeah. quite surprised because you know there's a lot of companies that are that are starting into that are getting into the industry, and a Nomadic is a newer a newer company, so we had we had no expectations about it. Right. It was an intriguing projector when they reached out to us just from its design. If you look at it, it's a very unique looking projector. So when it showed up. Um, it's they they basically used the, some of the best pieces AOPD 4.0 tr uh, triple laser, really good color tracking, really good yeah. color reproduction. Yeah. Quite impressed for a first outing for a new company. Um, good big full sound system two t two by twenty five. Yeah. So everything so everything about the projector was was um, impressive. So if you're looking for a projector under three thousand dollars, that's an ultra short throw. Um, this is a great option. Doesn't come with a screen, so you still have to go out and factor, get yourself a screen, or use a wall. We recommend you get a screen. It's great. But um, but it is a, a great projector for um, the money. So that was actually our special interest award when it comes to ultra short throw projectors. Right. I recall we we reviewed actually two projectors from Nomadic, and both of them did very well. And as you said, out of the gate, these were their first offering, so. They made a good impression um, right away. They made a good first impression. I, I'm excited to see what comes next. Exactly. So it's another one of those brands. Xgmi, when Xgmi first reached out to me, I was quite surprised with the performance that I got. Um, uh, Dangby, Dangby, when they Dangby, when they came out, um, and they and the first stuff that they came sent me, quite surprised when the. Uh, 
um, Nomadic came out, quite surprised. So it, it just shows that a lot of these companies are really trying to get into the game, which is good because that actually drives the big, the majors to build better projectors and still be price competitive right. because there's other people nipping at their, at their heels. So that's, so that's good for the industry. Now, moving on from that one, um, if you want something from a more um, a noted manufacturer that offers great color reproduction and a great performance and this great fit and finish, that would be the Epson Epivision LS800. Um, that is a very very good um, ultra short throw projector. Um, ec very good color reproduction, bright. 4,000 ANSI lumens, actually, or 4,000 lumens. I actually just put one of these in one of our demo spaces in our office on a 125-inch screen. Picture looks amazing. Three LCD, so colors, the color brightness and the, out, and the white brightness are both very good. So colors just absolutely pop on this thing. Nice sound system by Yamaha. Five watt, five watt stereo with a 10 watt subwoofer. Mm -hmm. um, so um, smart features. You know, it has tons of smart features built in and it's not a dongle. It's actually built into the projector. Right. Nice projector for thirty four ninety nine. I will note this. It is a it's using um, it is not a native 4K projector. Um, it is it's using uh, 1080p panels and it's using Epson's uh, pixel shifting technology called I think it's called Pro. Was it 4K Pro UHD is the yeah. technology that they're using. Um, looks sharper than HD, but it doesn't seem to be as sharp when it comes to detail when you compare it to some of the better um, DLP-based 4K, 4K DLP-based ultra short throw projectors. So it lacks a little bit of that sharpness. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It depends on the content that you're watching. The I mean, what I'll add to that is, you know, Epson has been using this system for a long time. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a company that's got a lot of experience in projection technology. And they understand that, yes, um, pixels on screen are important, but also it's a balance of that and contrast. And these projectors, the LS800, uh, the LS650, uh, it's, it all do an excellent job um, yeah. for home cinema content. And actually gaming content looks really good, too. I'm glad you brought that up because sometimes you do get caught up with the resolution. But as you mentioned, Phil, most of the stuff you're watching doesn't use full 4K resolution anyway. So for 90% of what you're watching, that difference in resolution is not really noticeable. But because the projector has better lenses, things like um, edge to edge focus is very, very good as um, the color reproduction is great. And the contrast is probably one of the, some of the best of any of the ultra short throw projectors. Those are the things you're probably going to take advantage of and notice more on a day-to-day -day basis. A sharp image from edge to edge, great color, high brightness, and good black level. And for those things, I can give away a little bit of resolution. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great projector. That's why we gave it best of class for projectors between three thousand and four thousand dollars. Because if you weigh all of the features in this projector, um, it's the one to beat at that price point. Now there is one. Um, now moving up, there's another brand that we like as well that I, that I am actually that I've reviewed, and actually you did this one. It's the A Wall Vision L LTV three thousand yeah. Pro. So you yeah. like this projector, right? What did you like so much about it? So there, there, I mean, so AWOL Vision One, they pay attention to um, the features that people want. Um, I, you know, they're kind of like the kitchen sink brand. You know, they, they put everything in there. So, you know, they understand that there's uh, content that's uh, created and displayed in HDR10+. Plus. There's content that's created in Dolby Vision. Um, so they have both of those high-end formats on them. A lot of manufacturers mm -hmm. won't do that uh, mm -hmm. because obviously it adds to the cost, but they're willing to do that. They've got really great color. And when these projectors are calibrated, they look fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it's an interesting design, great sound. They really just, they pay attention to the details. And exactly. that's what makes this brand impressive. And in my mind, a brand to, to keep an eye on. So the Pro retails for around 4,000 bucks. And one thing I've noticed about AWOL Vision, regardless of the model you buy, the feature sets are very similar. 
The difference is the light output. So for example, right. I am just finishing the review on the um, 3500 Pro, which is the big brother of this guy. It costs more. Um, I think it's around 6,000 bucks, but it's right. brighter. You get much, you get more brightness It's uh, because it's a bigger chassis. But all of the things you brought up, the uh, Dolby Vision, the um, this, that one has Dolby Vision, HDR10+, HLG, um, regular HDR10. It has, it'll do Dolby Atmos. It'll do DTS Virtual X. There's an option to turn the projectors into using them as a center channel in a, oh, yeah. in, a, in a bigger sound system. They now make a wireless sound system called the Vision that goes with this projector. Um, it comes, you can get it with a fixed screen, an uprising screen. A, the packages are are amazing. And the fit and finish on all these projectors are quite nice. So if you're looking for a great ultra short throw projector, that is another great option. So, so we've talked about, if you are on a, on a budget, what you should get. We've talked about kind of gaming projectors and portable projectors. We've talked about lifestyle. And then we talked about ultra short throw. Last but not least are the big boys, our favorites when it comes to um, home theater projectors, premium home theater projectors that, you know what, things like sound systems, great, but that's not the main reason why you buy it, right? Yeah. Smart features, it's going to be connected probably to a sound system, right. not really a big deal. So don't really, so features like um, smarts and sound, ah, that's not, that's not the thing. The thing that we're caring about now is all about, all about picture. So let's talk about some of those. You're on a super budget and you want a great looking picture for a amazing price. Be something like an BenQ HT 3650, which retails for around 1700 bucks. This projector looks amazing for its price point and it can still output 2200 lumens. So let's talk a little bit about it. So it has a little sound system, but you know, five watts by two, but who cares? You should plug this into a sound system, right? Right. Um, it does have... Um, some zoom, which is nice, and it has some lens shift. So you can kind of align it to a screen if you can't place the projector optimally. Now, the, the it is a medium, th actually a shorter throw. It's not an ultra short throw. It's a shorter throw, which means um, the projector will probably be mounted on a, even on a big screen right above you or possibly sitting right in front of you on, um, or sitting on a a credenza or something in front of you facing the projector, right? So, so it doesn't have to be in the back of the room. It can be either above you or kind of almost in front of you and still project a massive picture, which is nice if your room is not very big, but you want a large image. And the, it still reduces the chance of somebody walking between the projector and the screen and casting a shadow because depending on the size of your screen, these projectors are anywhere from three to like five feet from the, exactly. the screen. Exactly. Now you can get one of these with an eye on the end that will give you smart features. But the reason why it's only 1700 bucks is because it utilizes a lamp instead of solid state. So they said what's more important is, is maximizing the black levels and the color reproduction. Right. And um, in order to do that, it's like I have a certain amount of money to buy ingredients. And they bought all the ingredients to give you the best picture they can um, which meant that I'm gonna, you're going to have to use a lamp at this price point. If I put a laser in there, there's some other things about this projector that I could not do to give you the black levels that, that, that this projector can reproduce and the picture quality. But if you're looking for excellent picture quality for under 2000 bucks, and you're just you're pretty much using it for watching movies and, and some TV, this is a great projector. Obviously, lasers and LEDs have really big world advantages, but there's cost advantages to the mm -hmm. lamps. The quality of them have gotten better and better, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and they last for a long time, much longer than they, than they used to. Back in the day when, when I was selling lamp-based projectors, mm -hmm. um, they last a lot longer. Yeah, and then BenQ actually, by the way, makes two levels of projector. Home entertainment, where you want good black levels, but the brightness is where is what matters because you're trying to fight through ambient light. And then yeah. projectors that are tuned for darker rooms. The, the, whenever you see HT, that tells you that that projector is tuned for a darker space. So you may not get as much brightness. They may have given up a little bit of brightness compared to the other ones, but it's designed for someone who wants to watch cinema in the dark. 
So that's a great projector. Now, if you want a solid state and you want a little bit more functionality, then you would move up to something like the BenQ HT4550i. We reviewed the um, European version, which is called the W4000i. They're right. basically identical. It just has a different model number. Now, this one uses an LED light source, so it's solid state, so four LED light source. It's 3,200 lumens, so it's super bright, um, and it has more horizontal shift, more zoom, and, um, and things like that, and it has smart features. So if you're looking for a, this is my editor's choice for home theater projectors um, under 3,000 bucks, because this guy retails for around $29.99. So, so very, very good projector. This is a projector that I did review. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, again, an impressive picture. Not only that, it's also um, got the larger, the 0.65 inch DLP sensor in it. So mm -hmm. that really helps with black levels. It's one of the, mm -hmm. one of the advantages. Um, and it also doesn't have to shift as much. I believe it shifts in, twice instead of four times, like a 0.47 inch uh, DLP does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so good black levels. But good black levels, good color. It even comes each projector comes pre calibrated from from the factory. So BenQ actually ships it with a little calibration sheet that tells you what the me calibration measurements are. Now yeah. at three, now you're starting to get to the point where people will probably calibrate a projector. That, but mostly, yeah, maybe two, three thousand bucks. I'm thinking about it. But calibration cost a professional calibration can cost you five hundred to a thousand dollars. But nice thing about this is. A lot of times the performance out of the box is better than many projectors that I have reviewed calibrated. Now, you still may have to make adjustments to brightness and contrast to kind of really kind of dial it into your room. But for most people, the out of the box performance and color reproduction is absolutely outstanding for about 3000 bucks. So if you're looking for a great projector at about three grand, the BenQ W4000 slash HT4550i is a great projector. Now, moving on from there. As you get into the premium, premium ones, which the, the things you're paying for most is black level and mm -hmm. optics. So moving on from there would be mm -hmm. something like one of the big Epsons. There's different levels of Epsons. I kind of like um, at this price point, the Epson Home Cinema LS 11,000. It's actually sitting right over here. It is kind of a, it's a white chassis model. There's another one called the 12,000, but the 11,000 is at the sweet spot. It's at 4,000 bucks and it offers 2,500 lumens of brightness, great black levels. And of course, because of Epson's color science and their three LCDs, great color reproduction. So nice, nice projector and true cinema quality lenses, tons of horizontal shift, tons of zoom I actually Phil, this is the first projector of many of these that we've talked about that i can actually use in my media room because the projector has to go into a cubby in the back of the room and most of the other projectors that we've talked about until this point did right. not have the zoom range and the shift range for me to utilize it in my own space right. so when this projector came the reason why it's still here is because i utilize this projector in my media room as kind of one of my reference projectors because I it has a laser I can use it all the time and I've, I'm quite impressed with its performance at four thousand bucks. This is at this at this level. This is where um, you mentioned optics. This is a big deal. This is think of it like uh, buying lenses on an interchangeable lens camera. I mean, mm -hmm. you can get lenses that have technically the same specs. You know, it'll it'll wide angle is this number and telephoto is this number and or you can get multiple lenses, but the quality is different. The quality of the glass is different. Mm -hmm. And that makes a huge difference when you get into this level of projector because it means that the the better glass means um, sharper, clearer, better image, better color, less distortion mm -hmm. uh, or chromatic aberration. Mm -hmm. uh, it just makes a huge difference. And the glass on this projector and some other features are truly a step up. Yeah, and then a bigger chassis. Which yeah. when that chassis means bigger chassis means bigger fans. So it's quiet because I have this because this is they're talking about a hardcore home theater and you don't want to hear the fans running during the quiet scenes in your in your when you're watching a movie. So right. great optics, great color reproduction, great black level, tons of install flexibility, quiet, right? Um, that is why this projector is um, highly recommended. But 
Um, uh, it is, it's a native HD projector utilizing pixel shifting. So you do lose a little bit of that resolution. Right. Now, if you want native 4K, the least expensive one on the market is the Sony VPL XW 5000 ES. Projector is amazing. One of my favorites. This projector retails for 6,000 bucks. It could be less. Check Amazon. This uses Sony's SXRD panels, the same type of panels that are found on projectors that they make that cost up to fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. It is native um, 4K, 3840 by 2160, 8.3 million individual pixels on three different panels. It can deliver 2,000 lumens of brightness. The black levels are great. Tons of install flexibility. It's super quiet. It has lens shift. No smarts, no sound. Because anybody that buys this, you better have a sound system to go with it. Right. You should have a sound system to go with it. But if you're looking for a um, the the least expensive native 4K projector that will deliver an amazing image, the XW5000 ES from Sony is the great one, the one to go with. Okay? So this is just a small... Um, um, preview or a small sample of some of the great projectors available on Amazon, but these are just some of our favorites. And I will put the links to these projectors to, uh, on Amazon down in the description below. Now, we are not paid to review projectors, but if you want to support the site and you decide you want to purchase one of these projectors, please purchase using one of these affiliate links because that helps us um, continue to run the site because we don't charge for reviews and we don't charge the manufacturers for the reviews and we don't charge you to read those reviews. So we still need to, I got to pay Phil. <laughs> so, so any way you can help us out um, would be appreciated. So, so Phil, anything you'd like to say before I let these guys go? No, it was pretty comprehensive. Uh, it's an exciting list of projectors, basically something for everybody uh, at every you know budget, uh, which is pretty much you know the limiting factor. So I'm I'm excited to see a lot of those again. So that's exactly, fantastic. it was crazy. I was trying to cut them down, and I still ended up with 14 because I'm like, well, you got to have a couple in this category and a couple in this category. But hopefully, you'll find something in your price point that that. And, and that has the features that fit your needs. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody. So take care and we will talk to you soon. Bye now. Yeah.